Hello, I'm Naomi Robson and welcome to Your Corporate Kitchen, the ultimate team building, bonding and networking experience for your staff and your clients. So how does it all work? Let's take a look. Firstly, there'll be a briefing on the outcomes you'd like to achieve in the two sessions, while everyone gets to know each other a bit better and uncover some little known secrets about each other's culinary past. Now it's time for the taste test. And what are they going to choose for their corporate kitchen menu? Your team will have a variety of entrees, mains, salads and desserts to choose from. This is where your team will be implementing their negotiating strategies and consensus building techniques. You're going to have at least 12 wines to choose from on the night, which you have to narrow down to just three. Mm, tough decision. So with their corporate kitchen menu chosen, it's time for the fun and games to begin, while the coaches and your team leader decide where everyone's talents lie and who's going to be in each team. Throughout the sessions, the coaches will be making sure that everyone is meeting their KPIs. You'll have the opportunity to invite up to 80 guests to enjoy your team's corporate kitchen menu, a perfect way to build relationships with clients and do some networking. Talk about learning to work together under pressure, the kitchen is where it all happens. After each course, the guests will be rating the food, the wines, and of course the service. It's been really amazing. It's been really good. Delicious food. Um, food was awesome. Yeah. Service is really good. I was really impressed. Well, what a night and what a meal. And now it's time for the teams to mingle with their clients and enjoy a well-deserved drink at the bar. Um, it was fantastic. Look, we got to work as uh, different teams as we do at work and, you know, really build on those relationships so that we can take that back and uh, be a stronger team. It's very different to obviously being an accountant and just dealing with numbers and the books and all that. 